Excelsior, fellow Marvelers. <laughs> I just wanted to kick off this review of episode 4 of Secret Invasion with my glow in the dark Avengers t shirt. Alright, with that done, let there be light. Hello everyone, I'm Akshat, as you can see, and I'm a big fan of the Avengers, as you can see. So, let's get down to brass tacks. Alright, as usual, spoilers alert and let's start with the previously on because the past is history the future is a mystery let's see what the skrulls and fury have in store for us and uh, i just want to say a huge huge fan of samuel l jackson uh, especially since he immortalized this character over there in pulp fiction the character's name was jules and uh, he did a very iconic uh, uh, monologue uh, from some Bible passage which I have done in probably my first episodes review so you can check that out I will leave the link for the previous reviews in the description let's get started okay previously as you can see in my previous videos uh, Nick Fury's wife was revealed to be a Skrull Gravik has plans for Super Skrulls using DNA crisping and I say crisping because the gene editing tool that humans have come up with that we our scientists have developed is called CRISPR the technology and uh, maybe I'll discuss that later sometime but Gaia the daughter of the main Skrull Telos is shot by Gravik and left for dead but Little does he know that she managed to get the extremist superpower inside her before she fled from the headquarters of the rebel skulls, skrulls, skulls, skrulls. Uh, okay, so extremists, for those of you who don't remember, uh, was the main weapon in Iron Man 3. And Robert Downey Jr.'s last solo outing was, uh, uh, he was battling... Uh, Aldrich Killian who has advanced idea mechanics as the front for his super villainy <laughs> and uh, played very well by that Guy Pierce. Uh, Memento, if you haven't seen Memento, you should check it out. If you've seen Gajni in India, Amir Khan's movie in which he bolted out and got tattooed all over the place, uh, Memento was the inspiration or the copy. <laughs> of that movie okay so coming back to the episode fury's wife the secret skrull makes a withdrawal of a gun from a safe deposit box all right fury as i said the inimitable samuel L. jackson is persona non grata because this is a spy series so i wanted to use this term persona non grata which means he is not recognized or uh, acknowledged by any of the spy agencies he used to work with okay and uh, flashback time it's paris in 2012 just after the battle of new york and where all these avengers united for the first time not all of them but most of them the core group which is uh, on its way out uh, slowly and steadily now okay so the flashback soars uh, through raymond carver's poetry how fury and his future wife met and that is why they have laid on the Paris uh, romance scene quite thickly. Uh, not that they go to the Eiffel Tower or anything, but uh, I mean, you know, city of love and stuff like that. So what better way to start off, to kick off uh, love, a couple's story, yeah? Which is why this episode is called Beloved, right? So that's the Raymond Carver poetry piece that they discuss. Back to the Future, shout out to Back to the Future, of course, uh, which reminds me, I did see and I loved the cameo of the doc uh, of Back to the Future in Mandalorian. So that was very nice to see. If you haven't checked out Mandalorian, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Star Wars fan or not. You don't really need to know all the canon to enjoy the series because it also has Baby Yoda with his Grogu. But let's get back to Marvel Cinematic Universe or Marvel Kinematic Universe because cinema comes from kinema which is the ancient Greek for 
kinematics, you know, moving things, kine kinetics, you know, that sort of a thing. So that's where kinema uh, gave birth to cinema. And uh, back to the future, Colonel Rhodes, aka War Machine, aka Don Cheadle, uh, meets Priscilla. And it doesn't seem like they, it's the real war machine at all. And uh, it's a scroll. So it's very, uh, you know, easy to see that uh, war machine has also been captured and is being impersonated by a scroll. And that to a lady scroll, <laughs> it's revealed later. All right. But Fury is listening in to the conversation between his wife and war machine being played by a scroll. And uh, he finally gets to know his wife's origin. They part ways amicably after shooting and missing at each other. <laughs> it was a very laugh out loud type scene. They both uh, pull the trigger, but both of them apparently miss uh, intentionally. And it's revealed that Rudy is a scrum. So Fury gets her slash him to drink a liquid locator. So it's very, you know, it's a fun sequence in which he offers uh, Rudy a bottle of Pappy's 12 year old or something or the other whiskey and uh, the person the scroll drinks it and it's a liquid locator so it gets inside their body and they can locate them uh, so president of the united states potas played by dermot mulroney arrives in the uk and here come the fireworks so finally some big action happens in this uh, series uh, until now it was all sort of spy type action apart from the bombings uh, done by the rebel scrolls in the first episode uh, but as the smoke clears, Fury evacuates Portus while Gravik apparently kills Talos. So obviously I don't think they are going to let the main uh, main characters die so randomly and abruptly. But uh, Gaia had taken extremists so she recovers from the gunshot and Talos probably obviously doesn't have extremists in him. But I am pretty sure he will be made to survive for the sake of the story. Alright. So finally some big action and now there will be more mind games. Looking forward to that. Make sure you check out my previous reviews. I review all sorts of Marvel stuff, pop culture, books, places, you know. So my vlog is basically my journey, a catalog of my journey through life. And the most recent addition to our lives is of course Advitya. Check out my videos with her as well. Smash that sub button for awesome acts fun. Thank you so much for watching. Excelsior once again, fellow Marvelers. And the football season is coming up. Indian cricket is uh, off to a flyer against the West Indies. And uh, lots more fun to come. Alright then, thank you so much once again. Namaste, take care and stay safe.